Hey, good afternoon, everybody. My young hop on. It's not over my Philippine dreams. Good morning, afternoon, sir. Today we're checking out a rental property, and this isn't for us. This is actually for a buddy of mine. And let me pan around real quick. Silliman Beach is about an eight minute walk that way. Silliman Beach is right over there. Now, when you come in, you got two gates, which is nice, because that means you are off the road here. So you're away from the street noise. Now this gentleman is asking 11,000 pesos per month. He's looking for a decent and responsible renter as are all landlords. And if you need bananas or coconuts, you're all set right there. And did I mention the bananas? Yep. Oh, also you get PLDT fiber here is available, cookups, all that stuff, so there's that. I'm not quite sure what this is. This is the other gate, and this is a compound. There's two buildings right here. This is rented long term. This guy's been here for, he's been here longer than I have. And he's quiet, his wife works in the government, and he sits around and watches YouTube videos all day. That's the property owners domicile in the back there you can see there's all kinds of plants there's some kind of exotic herb growing all along the walls here not gonna ask too many questions uh, more coconut trees and let's check out the rental now this is the first and you guys know I've done a lot of videos on rentals a lot of videos on rentals and this is the first one I've seen with a functioning fire alarm system he said this was the Bureau of Fire requires that they have that, so they have that. This unit has been sitting empty for about a year. Uh, he just got back, so he's actively going to be trying to rent it out. It's basically two big rooms. This is the living area right here. Uh, it is furnished. You got pots, pans, you got a stove, looks like a La Hermania stove and oven set right here. For your cooking needs, you got pots and pans. Those all look brand new. They also got new paint on the place, which is nice. You got your interior sink here. It's all in good shape. It looks like they did a lot of touch up. Also, there's lots of ceiling fans, which is nice. And of course, they got art. It's a one bedroom, but it is a large one bedroom. This is a good size one bedroom right here. And again, you got the ceiling fan, you got air conditioner, looks like a general electric over yonder. Got a little desk right here, makeup area for your significant other or yourself if you're vain like I am. Also, you got a cool little walk-in closet. I like this. I like this. A little walk-in closet. It's one of the first ones I've seen here, too. You got your bed for all your sleeping needs. And again, everything's been freshly painted. It's in good shape. Uh, you got your shower here. There's no water heater, but there's the uh, provision for the power right there. So you can install a water heater, no problem. For me, I have to have a water heater. Uh, sink and toilet, everything is in good shape. And I'm in good shape too, look at me, man. Looking good, baby. And I'm not sure what's out back here, but we're gonna go back here. Let's see, let's go back here. Oh. I guess you get your dirty kitchen. And you got, oh, nice laundry area because it's getting hit by the sun. Good for drying clothes. That's much better than what we got. And I guess you could set up your dirty kitchen right here. There's a sink. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, the pluses here are security grates on all the windows, screens on all the windows, Freshly painted, it's set back from the road so you don't get the street noise. There's no dogs here, so you're not gonna get any barking, and I don't smell any burning shit. 
So if you're a single dude in Dumaguete, staying month to month somewhere and are looking for a more permanent domicile, might want to check this out. Or if you're a couple, it's quiet again. That's what you want is quiet. It's also got a monkey puzzle tree right here. I love these things. And I've said it before in many videos, and I don't know if this is true, but the reason they call these monkey puzzle is because monkeys try to climb them and the things are so pliant that they can't climb them. I don't know if that's true. So he's asking 11,000 pesos per month, quiet neighborhood. Um, I'm gonna leave the contact information down in the video description box. If there is no contact information there, it means that it has been rented. Until next time, puppies, rainbows, unicorns, and quiet neighborhoods for all. See you next time on My Philippine Dreams. Bye. Hey, if you consider our work to be of any value, consider supporting us on Patreon. If you're a Patreon, you get a free copy of my ebook, and we do monthly Google Hangouts. So consider doing that, if you would please.